Alcohol abuse takes a heavy toll on our society, and studies have shown women are more often more vulnerable to the damaging effects of drinking than men. Dan Godwin takes a closer look in tonight's Fox Forward. It's great to say hello to Dr. Harold Urschel, an addiction psychiatrist and author of the New York Times bestseller, Healing the Addicted Brain. Dr. Urschel is also co-founder and medical director of the Enter Health Treatment Centers with locations in McKinney and the Park Cities. Thanks for coming in. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. And when it comes to dealing with dependency, alcohol far outranks all of the illegal drugs and the prescription meds out there, right? Absolutely. Alcohol is the 800-pound gorilla out there. If you take all the dr illegal drugs and all the prescription drugs used illegally, you put all that in one box, you have to multiply that number of people by a factor of 10 to get all the alcoholics out there. It's a huge problem. It's the third leading cause of death in our country. And the negative effects of alcohol are, are more pronounced in women than in men. Why is that? Women absorb more alcohol out of their stomach because they have a different set of enzymes in their stomach. So they actually physiologically absorb more alcohol based on their genetic structure and sometimes, depending where they are in their hormonal cycles, they absorb 50% more alcohol per drink than a man. So if a man drinks a beer and a woman drinks a beer, the woman's absorption of alcohol is the amount that a man might get out of drinking a beer and a half. So there are consequences of that? Consequences of that are, are pretty dangerous in many cases. They can get a DWI easier with less alcohol. They get drunker with less alcohol, so they may put themselves in more dangerous situations and then regret it the next day because they got more intoxicated, but they weren't expecting to because they were just drinking, in their mind, a small amount of alcohol. So it's actually a physiological difference between the two um, sexes. So bearing all this in mind, what do you tell women about safe levels of alcohol consumption? That's a great question. What you don't want to do is you don't want to be drinking daily. Okay, you don't usually want to drink more than one or two drinks at a sitting. So drink, drink on the weekends, drink, drink occasionally. Don't get to the point where you're depending on needing a drink every day to cope with the day's stresses and the day's pressures. That's, that's using alcohol to cope with stress and that takes you down the road to alcoholism. And, and if you just stay drinking occasionally, you're really pretty safe and, and you can keep you know, that danger at bay. So, of course, you do have lots and lots of people who are social drinkers, yes. have it under control. But once you become an alcoholic, there are changes that occur. Absolutely. Alcoholism, for men or women, is a chronic brain injury, a chronic medical disease of the brain. Our scientific community has studied alcoholism for the last four decades. We found some amazing treatments for it. So there's a lot of hope out there for women. We want them to come forward if there's a problem. Ask for help. Go to an expert. All right, Dr. Harold Urschel, thank you so much for the chat. For more information about what we've been talking about, as well as the Enter Health Treatment Centers, we've got a link at our website. Just go to fox4news.com.